Hey, what's going on, guys? Card Tricks 8 here. Here to show you another awesome card trick. This one is called Order from Chaos. We will do the performance and then we will get into the tutorial afterwards. So let's get straight into this. This is a really good trick. I think the ending is the best part. So before we start, I will give the pack a good shuffle to ensure that the cards are mixed up. Now, all I need for this trick is cards from one suit. So I'm going to go with the spades for this trick. The spades are my personal favorite cards. So I'm just going to go through the deck and take out all the spades. Let's see. With my luck, they were all close to each other, so at least um, time is being saved. Let's see. Um, okay, I think that's all of them. So we have all of our spades, and that's all we're going to need for this trick. And you can see with the deck being shuffled, all the spades are in a complete jumble and complete chaos. Now, this trick is all about showing you guys how magicians think they're mixing up cards, but they're really not. So I'm going to show you a bunch of methods. Some magicians think they're mixing up cards by taking cards from the top and moving them to the bottom. This method does not do anything at all. It doesn't mix up the cards at all, so it's honestly pretty pointless. Then, I actually see little kids trying to mix up cards. They take cards from the top, and they just kind of set them down to the table, just like this. Now, this method is a little bit better than the last, but it still really does nothing to the cards. Then, another way I see magicians trying to mix up cards is they separate every other card from the deck, and then they remove them which is another one that I find to be pretty pointless because it still does absolutely nothing to the cards at all. Then the most annoying way that I see people shuffling cards is doing the Australian shuffle where they deal down and under, just like this. Now, out of all the shuffling, this one is probably the most efficient way of shuffling the cards. The only issue is this one is so tedious and it takes a lot of work and if you forget you can screw everything up. So it still doesn't mix up the cards as much as it really should but it's probably the most efficient out of all of them. And what tends to happen is is if you keep mixing up cards the wrong way the cards actually have a natural tendency to restore themselves. Because if you notice the cards have all ordered themselves from the complete chaos they were in earlier. So that's the trick, guys. That is Order from Chaos. I really like this one, and I think you guys will too. So now let's get straight into the right, tutorial. Guys, hopefully you stuck around for the tutorial. So this is a really good trick. So here's what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to remove all the cards of any suit. You can use the clubs, the hearts, the spades, or the diamonds. I chose the spades, but it really doesn't matter which suit you choose. I chose spades, you choose whatever you want. Now, this is the order that you need your cards in. 8, 7, 3, 4, 9, 10, king, 5, a 6, 2, jack, queen. Now, what I want you to do is now is if you have your cards with you, pause the video and just get the cards in this order. Alright, hopefully you guys pause the video. So, once you have your cards in this order... You can literally take out the cards like this and just do the trick. Or, what I recommend you do is you take the cards and put them on the bottom just like this. And then put the cards back in your box and start from there. You don't need to do what I'm about to show you, but I, I also did it in the performance, but it's better off if you do. So now you have a regular deck of cards with your spades set up in this order at the bottom of the pack. What you're going to do is, is you're going to give the cards one riffle shuffle and one riffle shuffle only. One riffle shuffle will not disturb the order of the cards, but if you give it more than one, there's a good chance the cards might be disturbed. So just give your cards one riffle shuffle, just like that. And now you're going to say you need one any suit, and obviously you're using the spades or whatever suit that you're using. And one riffle shuffle, you'll notice, will not disturb the order. Now you're going to set the cards down, which reverses the original order. That's what, exactly what you want to do. You're just going to go through the deck, taking out your cards, and make sure you set them down one at a time. Like, if you have two spades next to each other like this, don't set them down as a block, otherwise that will disturb the order. Make sure you set the cards down one at a time. Let me just get these all out, and then that, I already know that's all the spades. Get rid of the rest of the cards, you don't need them. 
So now that you have your spades out, you're going to be telling like the story and explaining how magicians try to mix up cards and they really don't because they don't know what they're doing. So you're going to say, one way I see magicians trying to mix up cards is taking cards from the top and moving them to the bottom. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to hold your cards a bit old grip with your thumb on the bottom, your middle and ring finger on the top, your pinky hanging off to the side, and you kind of have your index finger hanging over the middle. So you're going to say, I see magicians peeling off cards from the top and moving them to the bottom. You're going to peel off two cards, move them to the bottom. And as you're explaining, you're doing this at the same time because you, you want it to be look nice and fluid, like a nice fluid motion. Then you're going to peel off three cards, put them to the bottom. Then you're going to peel off four cards and move them to the bottom. And you're doing that all as you're explaining. You want to explain and move the cards at the same exact time, otherwise it doesn't look as fluid and as natural. Now, now you're going to come and say, sometimes I see kids trying to mix up cards. And they take cards from the top and drop them to the table. From here, you're just going to peel off three cards and drop them. And make sure you don't reverse the order of these cards. You don't want to peel them off like this. You just want to push them off like this. So you're going to set a pile of three down, then a pile of two down. Then a pile of three down, then a pile of two down. Then take your last pile of three and set it down. And again, make sure you're explaining as you're shuffling. Otherwise, it doesn't look natural. You want this to look as natural as possible. Now, this next part may look a little difficult. It's not as difficult as it looks. Some people make it a very big deal, but it's not. Then you're going to say, another way I see people trying to mix up cards is separating the cards and taking out every other card. Now, all you're doing here is just in-jogging and out-jogging cards. You're just moving cards to the bottom and moving cards to the top. This is very simple. It doesn't take that much work. Then you're going to peel out all the out jogged cards and just set them on top. And one thing I forgot to mention is each time you do these shuffles, you want to explain how each shuffle is probably a little bit better than the last one that you did, but they still don't do much. And now you're going to say the most annoying way that you see people shuffling is doing the Australian shuffle. Now this is dealing a card down and then one under, down and under. And you're just going to keep going through like this until you have no more cards. And you're going to keep explaining, saying, okay, this is probably the most efficient way, but it still doesn't mix up the cards that much, and it's super tedious. So again, make sure you're explaining as you're shuffling. Once you get down to one card, just set it down on top. And from here, the trick just kind of works itself out. All the cards will now be in order, so now all that's left to do is say, it happens maybe one in a million, but when you don't shuffle cards correctly, they have a natural tendency to restore themselves and then just show that they are in order from chaos. And that's the trick. It's very quick, very simple. I hope you guys liked it. Um, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below, like the video, and of course subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. We have 19 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, please tell your friends about my channel just so I can be more well known. So, thanks for watching, and always remember that when it comes to magic, follow your dreams. I will see you guys in the next one. Cartridge 8, thanks.